Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Kelly with On My Way and I'm in the process of losing 100 pounds for the second time. Yay me! So I know that it's been a while since I've done a weekly update and um, I had mentioned in a couple of uh, videos previous that I had been on a bit of a setback and had been struggling a bit and um, it happened right around the time that we actually filmed the how to bounce back from a setback video that we did a few weeks ago. And it was interesting because I noticed that a few of the other YouTubers that I follow and subscribe to were talking about how they were experiencing setbacks as well. And um, it, it happened really like just kind of out of the blue for me. I ended up like missing a couple of days of working out and I was starting to feel a little bit not frustrated but I'm trying to think of the right word not frustrated but I was stalling in my weight dropping or my weight loss with keto and so I was starting to wonder um, if that was the right choice for me and so I kind of started letting some carbs come back into my diet and then that turned into making some even worse choices with food and then all of a sudden I was just completely off the wagon like I'm talking blizzards and cookies and just nonsense basically and I immediately started to feel like lethargic and just horrible and my body was aching again and my joints were feeling swollen and painful again like I had previously gotten down to 210.5 pounds and then the week after it was up to 213.5 I actually ended up getting up to it went back up to like 221 mind you that was during shark week and a whole mess of other like with the dietary things so once that started to happen and what I really noticed was the soreness in my joints and that was enough for me to say to myself okay I don't care if I was stalling I probably wasn't doing keto properly so I need to get back on to eating a ketogenic diet because I need to feel better my joints need to feel better and so I put my big girl pants on and just got right back into it and quickly after started to feel better. It just has made me realize that despite having had these successes and positive things happen in my journey, I still do suffer from food addiction and sugar addiction and that's probably something that's always going to be with me and I'm going to need to be really on top of it to keep it in check and keep it under control um, because it was a very, very slippery slope of just a few things happening in succession until I was just completely, totally derailed. So since getting back on, and I have to say that my ability to get it back under control is 100% to do with having this channel and having you guys to watch your videos and to have you comment on the videos that I put out. Having that interaction is really what buoyed me back up so quickly and enabled me to get it together basically. Because I, I definitely feel so much better when I'm on the right track. And it's just so hard when you're in the thick of it to, to realize what's happened and that you need to make a change and you certainly don't want to hear about it you know when I am in the process of doing well and losing weight consistently I'll tell my husband like every day oh I dropped another pound or whatever and so when I stopped doing that he kind of was like so how's your journey coming along and I was just like shut up I don't want to talk about it but Kimmy Tismi she said something that was so amazing Seriously, you guys need to check out her channel. She is the best. And she said something about, I even wrote it down on my phone, but I'm recording with my phone, so I can't look at it right now. Something to the effect of, we offer up excuses for things when we know we're not putting forth our best effort and we're not working as hard as we should be. 
And I totally notice that in myself. When I start to slip and I'm kind of off the wagon a little bit and then I'm completely derailed, every excuse in the book, it's just, it's ridiculous. So I'm grateful to all of you so grateful to have helped me get back on it and uh, I did do a weigh-in and so I'll just insert a picture of it here. I was able to get down to 208 so I'm excited because that's a new low for me. That's a new low weight. From my last official weigh-in of 213.5 down to 208, I completely can't do the math right now. That's I'm gonna say 5.5 pounds in the, the weeks that I've been MIA, shall we say. So I'm really happy about that and I'm gonna keep going and keep, keep up with the things that help to keep me motivated. I'm going to be a part of fitness. Lexi Down Under is starting this 12 week uh, fitness challenge in the weeks leading up to and including Christmas. So every Monday, You'll touch base and talk about how you're doing uh, with your own personal goals that you have for that 12 week period. And I think it's a really good idea to keep us motivated during that time of year when things can just get so out of control. When you can start to say, oh, it's the holidays, you know, let's just relax a bit. So I'm really grateful to have the opportunity to be a part of that. Um, if you are interested, I have her information linked below. So check it out and uh, send her an email to be a part of it and we can all motivate each other over the next 12 weeks. The first video should be released on October 9th, Monday, October 9th, talking about what your goals are for that next 12 weeks. I'm so glad that you guys clicked on this video to watch today to see how I'm doing and to uh, check in with me. I'm grateful for everyone that is new to my channel. Please like this video and subscribe. And for those of you that are previous subscribers, thank you for your continued support along my journey. I definitely appreciate it. Make sure to leave a comment below to let me know how you're doing. And uh, you guys have a great day and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.